Hi, Lucas and Leia is Daddy, and now I'm reading you a book called "If I Ran the Dog Show," and it's all about dogs. Let's start. If I Ran the Dog Show by Tish Rabe. I'm the cat in the hat, and today we will go to the short, shaggy, tail waggy super dog show. Dogs are mammals like us, and their no senses are keen. We will meet lots of dogs, and you'll see what I mean. Every dog is invited. The tickets are free. It's starting right now. Grab a leash. Follow me. There are millions of dogs, and they live the world over. Meet Plucky and Lucky and Ruby and Rover. There are big dogs and small dogs and dogs in between, in more shapes and sizes than you've ever seen. Dogs are loyal and true, and they are eager to please. They sniff everything. People, rocks, grass, and trees. Dogs can do lots of things. They like running and catching and howling and prowling and sniffing and scratching. Here is the world's biggest build-a-dog puzzle. This part of a dog's face is known as the muzzle. See, that's the muzzle. Now I'll show you the ears, the withers, the crest, the shoulder, the elbow, the brisket, the chest. See, that's the stop. That's the ear. That's the crest. That's the neck. That's the withers. That's the chest. That's the shoulder. That's the brisket, and that's the loin, and that's the tail set. That's the elbow. Dogs have a thick pad and four nails on each paw. One, two, three, four. On each. Four leg. The fifth nail is called a dew claw. That's a dew claw. Dog's eyes can be golden, dark brown, or light blue, round or triangular, or almond shaped too. Their heads can be long and narrow like this collie's, or shorter and wider like this French mastiff dog Molly's. Their ears come in all shapes, and I happen to know. Erect ears stand up high, and pendant ears hang low. See erect ears and pendant ears. Dogs' tails are all different. Some are straight and some bend. A hook tail hangs down, then curves up at the end. Tails can be short, long, straight, curly, or plume. Plucky wagged her long tail when I walked in the room. See, look at the different tails. Tails help a dog balance. Look out! There goes Rover. His tail keeps him steady, so he won't fall over. That's Rover. The tail muscles help hold it higher or lower, and help a dog wag its tail faster or slower. Dogs are carnivores, which means they eat meat. Their sharp teeth help make their meat easy to eat. I've studied dogs' teeth. Now I've got it straight, right. When top teeth hang over, it's called overbite. When bottom teeth stick out like this bulldog's teeth do, it's called underbite. Other dogs have this too. Fur helps keep dogs warm and protects their skin. Sarah's thick fur keeps her body heat heat in. Would you like to meet this nice dog named Shirley? Her fur is quite long, and you see it's curly. Some dogs' coats have patterns. Look at Scratchy's back. His dog has a pattern of tan fur and black. See, some dogs you see have loose folds in their coats. Dew laps are loose folds up under their tro- throats. Sarah was trained and now understands the words "sit," "stay," and "heel," which are spoken commands. Dogs may bark to tell you, "Let's go for a walk," but barking is only one way dogs can talk. If a dog starts to growl or has teeth that are bared, that means she's angry. If he whimpers, he's scared. If a dog feels okay, then its tail is upright. If its tail Drooping down, something might not be right. Dogs are all different breeds. You'll see in this book just how very different some breeds of dogs look. 
Irish wolfhounds like Baxter are the breed that is tallest. Chihuahuas like Chico are the breed that is smallest. Pure breeds have parents the same breed as each other, like these poodle puppies with their father and mother. This dog's name is Wendell. He likes to, tr he likes to do tricks. What breed is Wendell? This dog is a mix. I have pictures right here of his father and mother. His father was one breed, his mother another. A mixed breed or mutt, I can safely say, is the most common dog in the U.S. of A. German Shepherds are brave and have nerves that are steady. For any emergency, they're always ready. That's a German Shepherd. And Bloodhounds are so good at tracking a scent, if someone is lost, they can smell where he went. Labradors, like Rover, like to run, jump, and swim. Having fun with kids is perfect for him. Greyhounds have long legs, and these dogs I know can run fast, and they're always ready to go. Some dogs have short legs, like this Basset Hound. When she moves around, she is low to the ground. Silky Silky Terriers like Scampi have long hair that flows. Sometimes this long hair is held up with bows. Long hair like Scampi's is called a head fall. Chinese crested dogs have almost no hair at all. This dog's having puppies. She's patiently waiting. Dogs give birth about 63 days after mating. When she has her puppies, she'll have more than one. She could have ten or more before she is done. Puppies like to play. They like snarling and biting. They're not really angry. They're on they only play fighting. Here is a poem I wrote for these pages. It's a poem about how puppies grow up in stages. I am a puppy by the cat in the hat. Here goes. I am one year old. I can't hear and can't see. But I can smell my mother. I know she's near me. I am three weeks old. Now I start to explore. What's this? It's a toy I just found on the floor. I am six years old. My sister wants to play, but she likes to bite and I push her away. I am eight weeks old. There's a lot that I know. I have a collar and leash and I'm ready to go. Now it's time for the next presentation, a how do dogs see, hear and smell demonstration. Dogs have good vision, their keen sense of sight helps them to see better than people in dim light. Dogs hear high pitched sounds that people can't hear. Scratchy heard a mouse squeak and knew it was near. I blew this dog whistle and though I was near it, Lucky heard the whistle but I couldn't hear it. Dogs' noses work well. When Jack smells your clothes, the smell goes to scent receptors in his nose. Then the olfactory nerve, I would like to explain, brings the smell from his nose right up to his brain. Whenever a dog smells your clothes and you, it knows where you've been and what you've been up to. Dogs can help people, and here are a few of the helpful things some dogs can be trained to do. A seeing eye dog is trained as a guide. When his owner goes out, he is right by her side. The therapy dogs bring tail wagging cheer. People feel better when these dogs are near. They are specially trained so when they're invited, they stay calm and friendly and don't get excited. Assistance dogs like Bob can open up doors, turn on lights, find lost keys and pick up things off the floor. Sniffer dogs can find things with their keen sense of smell. If there is fruit in this suitcase, this beagle can tell. Search and rescue dogs work to find people in trouble. In an earthquake, they find those who are trapped in the rubble. Police dogs have badges. Scout, as you can see, is wearing his badge, number 6183. The dog show is over and I have a prize for every dog here, every color and size. Dogs live all around us and we've seen today, dogs live in our world in their own special way. When we walk in the door, they come running to meet us. Wet kisses and tail wags are right there to greet us. 
There are many things that all these dogs can do, but what they want most is to spend time with you. There was a great book about dogs. I learned so much about dogs, and I really like dogs. And I love you, Lucas, and I love you, Leia. Goodbye.